In this video, we're going to be taking a look on pages Excel 84 and 85, in which we're going to move and resize a chart. Now, a chart is an object or an independent element on a worksheet and is not located in a specific cell or range. You can select an object by clicking it, and of course, sizing handles around the object indicate when it's selected. Now, when a chart is selected in Excel, the name box, which normally tells you the address of the active cell, tells you the chart number, which we can see up here, it tells us that it's chart one. Now you can move a selected chart anywhere on a worksheet without affecting formulas or data in the worksheet. Now any data changed in the worksheet is automatically updated in the chart. You can even move a chart to a different sheet in the workbook and it will still reflect the original data. You can resize the chart to improve its appearance by dragging its sizing handles. You can reposition charge a chart objects such as a title or legend to predefined locations using commands using the chart elements button or add chart element button on the chart tools design tab. Or you can freely move any chart object by dragging it or by cutting and pasting it to a new, to a new location. When you point to a chart object, the name of the object appears as a screen tip. Now on page XL84, let's take a look at step one. Step one tells us to make sure that the chart is still selected. And of course, if you want to verify that your chart is still selected, just make sure that the sizing handles are still there and you can just click in a blank area of the uh, chart. And uh, of course, when you point over it, uh, your mouse pointer should look like this, the four headed arrow with your mouse pointer. Now, of course, if you were ever wanting to delete a selected chart, you can always just press your delete key. We're not going to do that here. Uh, but we want to just make sure that our chart is selected. Step two on here tells us that we want to position our mouse pointer on a blank area near the upper left edge of the chart. So you want it away from the title and the values and the plot area, just in a blank area of here. And then we're going to press and hold the left mouse button. Once we do that, notice that now it turns into the four-headed arrow on there, and we're going to drag the chart until its upper left corner is at the upper left corner of cell A16. So we're just going to drag this down and move it down a little bit. And of course now we can see all of our data, and if we scroll down a little bit, there's our chart. And of course as you drag the chart, you can see the chart being dragged. And of course, when you release the mouse button, the chart appears at its new location. Now, if you if your chart didn't look like this when you moved it to A16, uh, and if you do not, uh, what you may run into a little bit of trouble. And of course, if you do not drag a blank uh, area on the chart, so if you were like in this area here or in the title or anywhere else that's in here. Uh, you might inadvertently move a chart element instead of the entire chart. Now, of course, if this happens, just hit your undo uh, you know, button up here in the quick access toolbar and then just try again that's on there. But you have to remember you have to work in the blank areas uh, to move your chart. Now, step three tells us that we need to scroll down so that we can see the entire chart here. And we want to position our mouse pointer on the right middle sizing handle. And that's this one right over here. Until it changes until a double arrow uh, on there and it's going to be a horizontal arrow, uh, double arrow, and it tells us that we want to drag this right border of the chart so that it goes to the edge of column G. So we're just going to drag this over here and just widen this out a little bit. Now of course you'll notice that when you do this the chart has widened out but also all the elements have changed as well and it you know it kind of automatically fits for it uh, on there. Now step four tells us that we want to position our pointer over the upper middle sizing handle that's this one right up here until it changes to a vertical double uh, headed white arrow and we want to drag this top border of the chart until it gets to the top edge of row 15. So we're just going to resize this up just a little bit there, make it a little bit taller. Now of course to resize a selected chart to an exact specification, you can always click the chart tools format tab 
and then you can enter in the desired height and width in the size group. Most people usually like to go through here and do this because you know it's sometimes it's better to eyeball it on there and take a look and kind of judge where it's at but if you always want to you could go to the format group and actually judge the height and the width of that uh, in inches uh, on there as well now on step 20 or excuse me on step 5 uh, it tells us that we want to position our mouse pointer over the lower middle sizing handle that's on the bottom of the chart here until it turns into the our resizing uh, vertical resizing uh, mouse pointer and it tells us that we want to drag this bottom border of the chart until it hits the bottom border of row 26 uh, so uh, we're actually going to shrink this up a little bit to take it to row 26 so we've widened it out a little bit we moved it up a little bit but then we've kind of made it a little bit more narrower uh, on there as well now, of course, you can move any object on a chart uh, on there as well. Now, you want to align now the top of the legend with the top of the plot area because this layout is just, of course, by default. Uh, but you can always change this layout at any time, and we will work on that uh, a little bit later on. In step six, it tells us that we want to go to the quick layout button in the charts group of the charts tool design tab uh, on there so once again we want to go to the charts layout group which is on here and we want to go to the quick layout button which is this right here when we click on this there's some different layouts for us and this is where we can change this and of course it does have the live preview so as you see as we go through here we have the different live previews and it tells us that we want to do is um, that we want to uh, click on layout one and of course when you put your mouse pointer over these it's going to give you the screen tip that actually tells you the name of it which this is the most upper left hand um, design that's on there or layout and that's layout one so we click layout one and then next what we want to do is is that we're going to click the legend here and this is how we move our legend when we click the legend notice it selects this um, section in the chart then next we're going to press and hold our shift key and we're going to drag this legend up and once again you need to make sure you get into a blank part of the legend uh, that's on there and tells us that we're going to drag this up so that the dotted line is approximately a fourth of the inch above the top of the plotted area uh, on there so we're just going to kind of guesstimate on there once we have that we're going to um, release our mouse button and then we can release shift uh, on there now when you click the legend of course sizing handles is going to appear around it and legend appears as the screen tip when the pointer hovers over the object now as you drag a dotted outline of the legend border appears now pressing and holding the shift key holds the horizontal position of the legend as you move it vertically so it's not going to move it um, on there from side to side it's going to allow us just to move it straight up and down now although sizing handles on objects within a chart look different from the sizing handles that surround the chart they all function the same way now a quick tip here for you you can move a legend to the right uh, top left or bottom of a chart by clicking the legend in the add chart element button in the chart layouts group on the chart tools design tab and then clicking the location option uh, on there as well so you can always go into add chart element and then of course there's your chart title and you can choose where you'd like that or you can place the uh, legend where you would like that as well once we have that let's take a look at now at step seven and step seven tells us that we want to go up and we want to click on cell a12 and of course a12 has usa and we want to replace this with united states once we have that we can just press our enter button and of course we notice that it's been cut off a little bit here so we need to go through and we need to resize 
uh, this on here. You can use the auto fit if you'd like to, uh, to resize column A to make sure that we can see United States in here. Once you have that, just go ahead and save your work. Now, of course, the access label change uh, on there, of course, we noticed that it changed here because we typed it, but it also changed down here uh, in the chart uh, because that uh, reflects the updated cell contents. Now, changing any data in the worksheet modifies uh, the corresponding text or values in the chart. Now, because the chart is no longer selected, the Chart Tools tab uh, is no longer in the ribbon, so you'll notice that that is no longer there. To get that back, you have to click back in on the chart. Now, of course, uh, if you take a look on page Excel 85, and this talks briefly about moving an embedded chart to a sheet. Now suppose you have created an embedded chart you have decided would look better on a chart sheet or in a different worksheet. Now you can make this change without recreating the entire chart. So if we did all this work here, we don't have to redesign the wheel. All we'd have to do is, is that we would just have to select the chart uh, on there, and then we can click the Chart Tools Design tab. So if we did that, I'll just kind of show you here and not complete the full task but we can click on the design tab on here and then we can click on the move chart and that's here in the location group uh, that's on there and once we have that we have some different options now we can move this as a new sheet uh, on there and this is the move chart dialog box uh, of course to move the chart to its own chart sheet that's where you want to use the new sheet option and of course you can actually go ahead and name the new sheet there as well and then of course if you would want that you just click on OK. Of course you can also go ahead uh, on there and you can um, move it to a as a object in a different sheet. Uh, so if we had multiple sheets here we could actually click on this and there would be like sheet 2, sheet 3 or if they were named as we did in a previous uh, uh, series of videos uh, you would have that option there as well. But once you would make your decision, you would just click on OK, and it would actually go ahead and move the chart. I'm going to go ahead and click on Cancel there, and just go ahead and make sure that you do save uh, your uh, spreadsheet, and you're ready to move on to the next video.